Hi, uh, thank you for your time during the webinar today. My name is Jesse from International Development Office from Beijing Normal University, Hong Kong Baptist University, United International College. It's a great pleasure to be here and have um, to give you a brief introduction of our college. First of all, uh, I will introduce those UIC to all of you first and UIC is the first full-scale cooperation in higher education between Beijing Normal University and Hong Kong Baptist University and the students uh, will get their um, certification from UIC and after the graduation they will also get their bachelor's degree from Hong Kong Baptist University so two certificates will be given by UIC and HKBU. And here is our president, Professor Tang Tao. He is the member of the Chinese Academy of Sciences. As you can see, we have two campus here. Um, the second phrase campus is under construction, but it's already open to our, part of our school. Students are from overseas and also the postgraduate students. Mm, you, as you can see, uh, it's quite near uh, between those two campus. Um, and our location is Zhu uh, Hai, Guangdong. And some students may confuse about our uh, location because we are not located in Beijing or Hong Kong. Uh, we are in Guang in Guangdong Province, which is is in the area of Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau, Greater Bay Area. So um, I just want to uh, clarify a little bit here because um, the weather um, or the place here is quite different from Beijing. But um, we do, um, it, we are very close to Hong Kong and Macau and we do have the bridge to cross those, uh, connect to this two area. Uh, if you want to go to Hong Kong or Macau, you just can take the bus around one hour to Hong Kong should be fine. And we can just walk to Macau as well. So that's the location of UIC. Um, and here we, we have some new dorm street for international students. As you can see at the right side of the pictures, here is a new dorm street here. Um, so students may choose the two bathroom to share um, with others. But we don't have uh, any single room for all of the students, either for our dom uh, domestic students, um, because uh, the number of the domestic is not enough for all those students. So um, they may need to share the bathroom and also live in the suit to share the common room on campus. Here, um, as you can see, we are located in Zhuhai and next to Macau and also some big city like Guangzhou, Shenzhen is not that really far from here. So um, students may choose Zhuhai for their study destination because um, after the gradu uh, graduation, they may get more job um, opportunities here or maybe the internship opportunities. And also we have uh, some spots here. Um, here's the Tower of Guangzhou, and we have some very beautiful uh, sightseeing place here. And back to UIC, our mission is to develop a liberal arts college dedicated to producing well-rounded global talents. So um, the, the tuition fee is a little bit higher compared with other public universities in China. Um, it costs um, 100,000 per year for uh, all programs on campus, uh, but, ex yeah, but except the musical arts program, because it's, it would be a little bit ex more expensive. And as what I mentioned of the dormitory, students can choose two bedrooms or um, maybe share three bathrooms, maybe a little bit cheaper than other uh, choices. So students um, just can choose what type of dormitory they want. And back to the um, staff recruitment, because we are international college. So most of our faculty members are from uh, 
just consists of three parts. One third may be from Hong Kong, Macau, Taiwan, and some are from overseas, but uh, mainly uh, comes from mainland China here. So we do have students from Hong Kong, Macau, and Taiwan, and um, international students from all over the world. So we do have some international on camp, international students on campus now uh, from United States, um, Bangladesh, UK, uh, Panama, um, and Russia, and some other countries. And we do have three, uh, three to four um, faculty and school here and provides 31 programs for all of the students. And also we got um, academic support units as well. So I will introduce those programs we offered. First of all, uh, we can see the Faculty of Business and Management. Uh, accounting maybe will be the um, most popular um, in the past uh, ac academic recruitment cycle and comes to business um, analytic and digital media management is the new programs we offered in 2024. And for faculty of science and technology, um, AI, computer science and technology, data science is quite popular. Um, most of the students from overseas are going to apply for this kind of uh, programs. Um, but um, we, we select those students who has really good academic performance, which means the competition is quite fierce in this faculty. And for the Faculty of Humanity and, so, and Social Science, uh, we got also eight, uh, also have the seven programs here. And today I will um, give you an introduction uh, provided by the division professors here. Let's just see a video what the, the professor says. Why study English literature at UIC? English language and literature studies offers you the opportunity to engage with the world, to discover yourself, and to find a fulfilling direction in your life. The ELS program at UIC will help you to strengthen your written and spoken English language skills by reading, writing, analyzing, and discussing different kinds of text. Students can choose to study one of three specializations, namely literary studies, professional communication, and teaching English to speakers of other languages. In literary studies, you will read and discuss the best of world literature in English, and you'll also gain confidence through creative writing and performing on stage. The professional communication concentration focuses on intercultural communication and digital literacy for the 21st century. The TESOL concentration prepares students to become teachers of English in schools. Whatever pathway you choose, you'll gain confidence, knowledge, and a range of skills to prepare you for a fulfilling career after graduation. These careers include teaching, publishing, editing, and writing for traditional and new media, amongst a variety of other professions. At UIC, we put the best student experience first. You'll be taught by a multicultural team of experts and scholars and guided by assistant instructors, many of whom have studied overseas. We value both cutting edge theoretical knowledge and practical experience. And so we offer internship opportunities to help you apply your new and improved knowledge and skills in the workplace. So, choose English Language and Literature Studies at UIC. 
Become your best self and find a bright future. Okay, um, we move to the next part in the School of Culture and Creative Creativity programs. We also have a sex program in the schools, and most of the students will make apply for the cinema and television, media arts and design, and also the animation and creative media, uh, which is very popular from the students. And but please do um pay attention to the music pro uh, performance because the tuition fee will be a little bit higher than others. Uh, it will cost one hundred twenty thousand per year RMB, and for the rest is uh, the same. So um by far USC developed a various type of a cooperation with a uh, high ranking uh, cooperative partners. You as you can see, we have some summer programs, exchange out programs with uh, the very famous university all over the world. So which means students um, may uh, come to, once they recruited by the uh, UIC, they can apply for the summer program and also exchange out program during the four year study here. For the graduate prospects, we can see um, in 2020, to uh, 120, uh, 1,223 out of uh, 100, uh, 1,680 graduates left the mainland for their further study over the sea. So which means the students will go further their education after the graduation. Um, and also the co college or university they admitted is quite a top in the high QS ranking um, of the world. And we also provide a lot of activity for international students um, as uh, high table dinners and some traditional uh, Chinese festival celebration and as well as some international festival celebration. We do um, focus on the culture activity experience for international students. So every semester and every academic year, we provide those traditional food making events and such as flower arranging, Tai Chi classes and handicrafting classes, painting or uh, calligraphy courses for international students. And students um, are very interested in the food part in China, especially in Guangdong, because they can go to Hong Kong, Macau, Guangzhou, and enjoy the cuisine here. And let's enjoy video uh, to see what international think of UIC. <music> I think UIC is really cool because there's a lot of opportunities to integrate me and like myself and other exchange students along with the Chinese students to get to know each other and um, explore our differences together but find common ground to integrate together. UIC is an educational center that gives students the chance to learn China and all of its cultural aspects including traditional music, traditional dances, history and geological locations, travels, and historic places. The environment of UIC is really awesome, that I really feel happy here. And our technology, all the classrooms, and our teachers are highly qualified. And I really appreciate to be here and leading my study. When I think of UIC, I just think about when I went back to the club fair and they had so many different organizations there to, for us to get interesting and every club we spoke to was so passionate about what they did, um, whether it was the outdoor club or the fashion model club, everyone, everyone was really, really dedicated to their craft.
here comes the most important part the scholarship and the, the uh, admission procedures. So uh, for those students who uh, perform very um, excellent in the academic part, um, they will get a chance to win the full entrance scholarship or also the partial entrance scholarship and all international students will get the sponsor from Guangdong province, which um, was uh, 10,000 RMB per students. So um, here's the scholarship screams here. And all those uh, quotas are based on first come first serve. So um, as the application for 2024 intake is open, we highly recommend it all students submit their application as soon as possible because our deadline will be May 15th. So um, once our quotas of scholarship are running out, then maybe you need to wait for another batch. So here I would like to share some general college admission requirements here, but it's quite in detail. So please um just go through all those details in uh, on our webpage or consult us or China admission team for further uh, information after the webinar. And about how to apply the um, for 2024 intake, please do uh, provide with your application with the supporting documents as follows, um, your graduation, certification of high school and all transcripts um, during the high school and two recommendation letters. One should be authorized uh, by your supervisor in high school or another from internship part is also accepted. And also please provide with your personal statement and your passport copy for those students from non-English speaking Countries, please uh, do provide your language certification. Our TOEFL score um, is re requires 79 internet base and IELTS overall six band because all programs are taught in English in USC. So we don't um, require any Chinese uh, language certification at all, uh, but English. So um, here is the support supporting documents required. Um, you can just email us with all those materials directly to our email address or um, submit the, the, your application on our portal. I will share the uh, platform later. And also you can just contact with channel mission team for your uh, application. And at last, I will share some campus scenery with you. Um, Actually, those pictures are our uh, first campus here. You can see very beautiful scenery on campus. And here is our learning resource center. And inside the learning resource center, and there is a lake uh, in, at the middle of the campus and our sports complex. And we do have a um, Hoi Tong Park quite near to our campus, uh, first campus. So we share the park and other facility with the community. Here is the sport park. And we have three canteen on campus so students can enjoy the food whatever they want. And those pictures of a dormitory Here is the culture creative clusters. 